Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the Tier 9 Italian battleship, Lepanto. I posted a previous video on the Lepanto and it was a game that was requested to fire semi-armor piercing for the entirety of the match. But this was not the most efficient use of the Lepanto's main battery. I wanted to update this with a game where I'm swapping out ammo types to maximize their effectiveness depending on the target and situation as it gives one a far better idea of what the Lepanto is actually capable of. Anyone who's played the Lepanto will know this ship is pretty good. The Christopher Colombo is it's still uh, in testing and covered by NDA, but if you think how the cruiser line works, they gradually get more powerful and then once you get to the Brindisi, the Brindisi feels really good. Why are all these guys just running away, look? Why would RDD just not go forward here? There's already DDs in the center. Oh, it's going to be tough this evening. Tough, tough, tough. What's that up there, Nelson? Oh, Fiji. Going quite slowly. Pretty good dispersion. Where are you exactly? Baltimore there? You know, that's quite a few ships here. I'm just going to start turning out. Now, look, that guy just fired his guns and got undetected. What the hell? Okay. That's a bug. That's definitely a bug. I had clear line of sight. He fires his guns. He's at 13, 14 kilometers. And he doesn't render. See, that's, that's the point of sap. When you get those cruisers angling, yeah, that's what you can pin. Yeah, Balti, you can keep pushing down here. lost the caps. These guys are pushing like crazy. I mean, this Baltimore, I mean, this is just brain dead what this guy's up to. The enemy team has taken the you see that quite a bit at the weekend. Players, they find, they find the W button and then that's it. Everything else just goes completely out the window. It's W button or bust. His AP is pretty nasty too. There's so many ships pushing me here. Okay, so that's you take. I'm going to actually reposition here because they've just gone mental here. I 
you are gonna swap back to AP for this Nelson. Skonner is dead. I've been driven, I've been driven back into the corner here. Needed to get that shot up just a little bit quicker. Two overpens. Come on, reload. He's actually slowing down, is he? Well, damn. Just angled out enough to save himself there. Is that a... Is that really a Nelson that's taken off his camel? That's what it looks like. Unless I'm seeing things. Jesus. Some double fire. What's up there, Skonne? Oh dear, full broadside battleship undetected. And be on point. Smacked him up a bit. I'm really on my own on this side of the map though, look. All these guys are over here. Hiding behind the island being effectively quite useless. Come on, dispersion, be good. We're whittling them down, but... Just barely moving. Pretty good looking dispersion, come on. Okay, there we go. That's one less. I was getting tired of his fires. Heason is reversing. This DD is actually coming out coming out and detecting me. Ognivai up in no man's land. All these ships in no man's land. Look at this guy shooting AP. And torping me, of course. God damn it. Eat, eat, eat all the bloody torps. While our, look, look at our Didi. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of funny, really. This guy's just. Oh no, I tried to reload too soon, and. One of my guns wasn't reloaded, obviously. Enemy 
Oh, they're eating all those bloody torps, my god. Could you imagine if any of these ships would actually try and fight? They're all in position. Absolutely awful positions. Constantly perma spotted by this this DD as well. Got five pens. This guy's been a real little pain out here. Gonna lose our car first. I'm sick and tired of these now. Get off the bloody one-two lines and fight. Damn you. All hiding over there. It's just ridiculous. Get rid of that Ognivide to be very helpful. Sweet. Just before my spotter plane ran out. Ethan is out of range. E Leon. <laughs> Excellent. Can we kill secure here? No cigar. And find epic cancer, yeah. No range. No range for that he's in Look at her shores. Look at the shores in Talon. I mean, are they not bored to death over there? Are they not literally bored to death? They've got to be bored to death, right? I mean, if I was over there... I'd be... I'd be fast asleep at this point. We've got no range. No spotter plane up for another two minutes. Come on, he's and come back into my range. Battle ends in five minutes. I, I'm amazed we've actually going to win this game with these guys hiding over here for the duration of the match. I'm going to get a shot on this guy. Think he actually started turning out. Die, he's in. Missed him. Damn it. <laughs> Trolled right at the end. He 
he's gonna go down. There we go. Man, that was tough. Is that how people play now? Just sleep? Well, those guys were sleeping. They were sleeping over the far side of the map. Being pretty funny. I mean, Lepanto is... Uh, this is a really good chimp. And you can see I'm using AP a lot of the time. I mean, it's, AP is good. And sap, we just look at the damage. We're doing 130 with armor piercing and 80k with, with sap. And this is about right. Like, you should be using armor piercing in the vast majority of situations. And then sap when you get those battleships that are just slightly angled too much, they will, they'll just bounce or overpen with, with AP. And then you can really, like I got, one was, one really nice example was when that Heason was, he was just reversing at one point, but he was just angled enough to prevent any kind of access to his citadel with AP. But he was showing his enough broadside that you can still do a 20k sap salvo. So it's it's very effective. And on that Baltimore at the start, that went a bit nuts charging me. Sap really took care of that guy. So I mean, as you go up to tiers, you shouldn't give hope, give up hope on these Italian battleships. It's very like playing the cruisers, the tier five and the tier six and the tier seven. All they, they're slowly getting better, and then once you get to the, in particular the tier nine, like if you compare the Brindisi and the Venezia, they're very very good in the cruisers, and the same applies to the Lepanto and the upcoming Cristoforo Colombo. Very, very good ships. Shame we couldn't snag a crack in there right at the end. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, Keep sailing it like you stole it. <laughs>